Hello boys and girls, Mr. Hendrick here with another fun drawing activity for today, One Point Perspective. Using this method we're going to create some basic boxes that look like they're three-dimensional coming out from one solid point on a line. Um, this is something that we'll be using in the future uh, in a lot of different ways including with our bubble letters and block letters. So without further ado, let's get started. What we need for today is the following. Eraser, Sharpie, pencil, and something to color with. Also, we will definitely be using a ruler for this lesson. All right, let's begin. A couple things we need to know. We need to know about horizon lines, which is a line that goes left to right across the page, and vanishing point the dot on the page where all the orthogonal or diagonal lines will go to or converge to. Um, so if we just start very simple with a square, anywhere on the page, I'm going to put mine in the lower left. With one point perspective, we're going to look at each corner and connect it to the vanishing point. Here's the catch though. Since these are going to be solid objects, if your line is going to go through the front of your shape, you do not want to draw it. So if I start at the top here, I can see that I line the corner up to my vanishing point, and I can make a line, just like that. Leaving it on that dot, I'm going to shift over my ruler to the next corner and make a line. So I have that. Next, I'll leave it on the vanishing point, go to the bottom right, make a line, sure. Now I'm gonna check this bottom left. I am not going to be drawing through my object, so therefore I am not going to be connecting that corner to the vanishing point. Okay, so, depending on how long we want the shape to be, if we want it to go on forever and ever and ever, we have to do nothing. However, if we want it finish off the shape, you want to look at the direction of the line from the front of your object and create a parallel line to that one. So let's say I'm looking at this horizontal line here. If I shift my ruler up to about there, I'm going to draw another straight line to connect these two orthogonal or diagonal lines. I'll do the same thing on the right side. I'm gonna shift my ruler over and finish off the shape. Simple as that. Now, what you can do, you can erase the excess lines. There you have it. Now we have one cube in perspective. Now let's try it a couple different spots to see how they change. What happens if I put one right underneath the vanishing point? Or right on the horizon line? So, same rules could apply. I'm gonna look at each corner and without drawing through my object, I'm going to connect that corner to the vanishing point. So I'll start on the top right of this bottom shape. Draw my line, okay, go to the next one draw my line. Now these two, if I use my ruler, you'll notice I'll be drawing through my object, so I'm actually not even going to draw them. So this one's pretty easy, it's only two corners. Again, depending on how long you want the shape to look, you're gonna move your ruler, and you wanna keep your line parallel to the direction of the top line of your shape. So here, I'm gonna make the shape look a little bit bigger, Stop it right there, and then erase the excess. All right, let's look at the one on the horizon line. You'll notice something similar is gonna happen here. 
So starting at the bottom right, uh, bottom left, is at the corner, connected to my vanishing point. Bottom right, however, I'm not going to draw through my shape. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Top right, same thing, not gonna draw through my shape. Top left, I will connect to the vanishing point. All right, and again, depending on how big you want your shape to look, you'll have to make a parallel line parallel to uh, the left side of this object. Now, I'm gonna practice a couple of different shapes um, on the same page, just to kind of show you what they look like. Okay, so I drew four more shapes. Now I'm going to show you what happens to the vanishing point for each one of these. Notice I'm actually not gonna draw through other shapes if they're in the way. All right, let's begin. Here are my shapes going straight to the vanishing point. But again, I wanna stop the shapes at a certain point to create the forms of these cubes, right? So, bring my line over. This one gets a little tricky because it's so narrow because it's very close to the horizon line. But you still want to keep the same rule in effect by creating a parallel line. Now, just to finish off this assignment, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over my lines in Sharpie and then apply some color. I'll use a time-lapse video for this part.
All right, now it's time to just add a little bit of color. Um, you don't necessarily have to do this step, but I do think it kind of makes these um, forms seem more three-dimensional. Um, you can do the same thing with shading if you prefer. I'm gonna use some color pencils myself. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna look at each side of, of, of this page as a different um, brightness or, or um, heaviness of color. So anything on top, I'm gonna keep very light. Okay, um, anything on the bottom, I'm gonna keep very dark. Um, and then the sides, I'm gonna keep this medium. Medium. And the front, I'm gonna keep medium as well, but something a little bit um, darker than the sides. All right, so I'll show you what I mean. We'll start with this. So front, I'm gonna keep medium. So I'm not pressing too hard. I may go over it more than once. And again, you may have different ways that you wanna apply color or shading or nothing at all. And it's really up to you. Sometimes I went over a couple of times to sort of get more depth in my color here. And now the top, since it's facing up, I'm going to go lighter with it. All right, so if I switch a different color, uh, maybe I'll do this one next. Um, maybe I'll choose this. Same thing, start over here. Start at the front. I usually start with the medium tones first. So I have a good basis of where to go from there. And again, the left and the right side is also going to be medium. I'm gonna eventually darken the front a little bit more than the side. I'll do one more before I time lapse it to show you what the bottom might look like. So here, we have the front facing one, which is medium, one on the right side, which is also medium, and the bottom is gonna be darkest. So I'll start with the medium tone. darker on this front facing piece. And the bottom which is going to be darkest so I'm going to press a little bit harder. You could come back with a darker color or go over it with a light uh, gray color pencil or black color pencil. Or you can do it this way, which is just changing the pressure of the pencil. All right, I'm gonna finish up these other four uh, shapes, um, lickety split by using time lapse, and uh, then we'll sum up this lesson.
there you have it, boys and girls. The basics for one point perspective. Notice that all you need for this is a vanishing point, a ruler, and a little bit of patience. Um, I encourage you guys to try this out. Just put different squares all over the page and connect it to the vanishing point and try to finish off the shape with parallel lines and you'll see how easy it really can be. Um, in our next unit, we're going to be applying the principles of one point perspective um, to create block letters that come from the center point outward. It's going to be really cool. I cannot wait to show you guys. All right, until next time, this is Mr. Hendricks saying, happy art making. See you later.